the SMP leadership election has already become extremely dramatic as Kate Forbes' campaign collapses on day one thanks to the woke culture. Wow, absolutely wow. This leadership election of the, the SMP establishment is already very, very entertaining, but also very damaging to our culture. Because the SMP as a party, since uh, Nicola Sturgeon an an announced her resignation, they had one opportunity to pick someone. They still have an opportunity, but it's not going to happen. To pick someone who's less woke in the name of Kate Forbes. Compare her to the crazy nutters like Humza uh, Yusuf who are anti-free speech and anti-British values and very, very extremely authoritarian. Kate Forbes was slightly better. But <laughs> she came out, a couple of interviews came out about her on the gender issue and on same-sex marriage. Now, there are people watching this video who are in this country more socially, con socially conservative and their personal view is that they're not in favour of uh, same-sex marriage. And there are those who are watching this, they're still conservative, but they have more moderate socially liberal views they say well we moved on i don't really care but both sides would agree sensible people would agree that the reaction to kate forbes's comments have been extremely authoritarian from not just the political establishment but of course the media the liberal media elites essentially she said that my personal view is that i'm, I'm not in favor she's also said sort of same same line as uh, jacob reese mark for example personal views and their religion would suggest that we can't really support it but she said if i'm in charge if i'm first minister or prime minister i'm not going to reverse the policy i'm not going to implement policy change because this is now the consensus in society and that's always been the moderate line from social conservative sides you can have your personal view and but also you understand the, um, the personal view and politics are different apparently that's not enough and we're going to talk about the hypocrisy of the media establishment when it comes to different type of religions but second issue was her views on uh, men and women oh very controversial topic let's go to this video first do you believe a trans woman is a woman i believe that a trans woman is a biological male who identifies as a woman most of your colleagues do not take that view and many of your colleagues would see that as deeply illiberal well, in a liberal society, you can coexist and have these debates and discussions. Yeah, I wish that were true, Kate. But clearly, in the liberal society that you mentioned, you can't coexist with the other absolute nuttery, extremely illiberal regressives uh, because they, they cancelled you. They want to bring you down because you have different views. And she simply said a, a few words that were factual statements about biological and you know, self-identification. She didn't say anything controversial. She, she just told the truth. Uh, she was talking about biology and science. But, put that aside, let's talk about the biggest issue with this whole thing. Because, firstly, with the same-sex marriage, she said this is just you know a theological question. So, if you want to ask me policy questions, that's different. But this is, you know, you're talking about personal views and your faith and your th theology and everything else. But the hypocrisy of this situation is quite fascinating look at the different symbols when it comes to different religions okay you can see christianity there and you can see all the other religions right there's only one religion that if you're a politician in this country or anybody or a celebrity that would if you suggest that my view on any issue like same-sex marriage is more towards social conservatism because of my religion there's only one religion that if you use that does it doesn't count they're going to come for you and that's christianity if she had said that because she would have been if you were a muslim absolutely fine because they would have said well you must respect her faith isn't it interesting the double standards when it comes to religions but it's not really just about um the the, the faith of islam versus christianity the problem is there is an attack on Christianity, not just the actual faith itself, but values, basic Judeo-Christian values. And, and even those who are not really religious people, but they are following the Christian uh, the set of Christian values. No, 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 no. That's also under attack. You can't do that. You're not allowed. But you can. You can be a Muslim or a Hindu 
That's fine. That's fine. But no, 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 no. Christianity completely, completely cancelled at this point. And that is the biggest problem I have with this. But there are other issues uh, when it comes to this problem. So Kate Forbes' campaign has now com completely collapsed. Uh, she's losing endorsements, a lot of endorsements. Uh, one of them was Claire. Uh, well, actually, a couple of MSPs or members of the uh, Scottish Parliament, as you can see on this list. Uh, but there were also been a couple of MPs in Westminster who actually defended her. But let's talk about these guys first. So one of them said, I cannot continue to support Kate's leadership campaign. And another one saying, I am una unable to continue to support Kate's uh, campaign, despite the fact that she was already in Nicola Sturgeon's cabinet. She was already given the job and she was already endorsed by her colleagues and by the rest of the party. And they knew her views. They knew about her personal views. They knew they knew who Kate Forbes was before. So when they want to use you, this the, the, the political left in general, then they would. You'll be their best friend. But the moment they're done with you, <laughs> not only they're going to get rid of you, they will cancel your life and your relatives and your career and everything you have about you. And this is what's happening to Kate Forbes. But luckily, there are some people in the SNP establishment who are trying to support her. Well, firstly, there's a couple of MPs. This one says, well, I'm concerned about the ongoing targeting of Kate Forbes because of her faith, my statement. I'm just going to show you the first bit. Uh, she says, it is incredibly disappointing to see the continued targeting of Kate Forbes because of her faith. How can we be a truly inclusive society when someone like Kate is told that there are some positions that she cannot aspire to because she belongs to a minority faith community? Substitute a different faith into the comments about Kate online and the issue becomes clear. For example, Kate cannot hold this position because she's Muslim. Kate cannot hold this position because she's a Jew. We are entering a, a dark territory here with far too many people failing to recognize this. As I said, absolutely spot on. There are also some other veterans of the SNP like Joanna Cherry <coughs> who come out to say, I would like to see some elder statesperson in the SNP to step in and call the dogs off. Uh, Kate Forbes. She was she was appointed a cabinet secretary by the first minister, Nicola Sturgeon, in full knowledge of her religious views, with which I strongly disagree. But this feeding frenzy is unseemly and bad for the party. Common sense, a little bit. I mean, we have low expectations when it comes to the, the hard left, like the SNP. So for them, pretty, pretty good for uh, people like Joanna Cherry. We need a little bit, little bit more common sense in British politics, which is quite weird because we had it. Well, at least the, the, the perception was until a few years ago, five, ten years ago, that we were the grown-ups compared to the American politics. So, you know, all the chaos that was happening even before. But it seems like we weren't really the grown-ups. It was just a facade protected by the mainstream media, the legacy media like Sky News and BBC. But now, thanks to new media... This channel, thanks to all the independent outlets, thanks to new channels like GB News, Talk TV and all the others, it's actually showing the true face of the, the toxic culture of uh, the political platform that we have in Westminster, in Hollywood and everywhere. Now, they had one chance. Now, this guy is now more likely to become the next leader of the SNP, which on the one hand is chaotic for Scotland. On the other hand, I'm thinking, bring it on. Maybe this is what people need to see the true side of the SNP. He could, he's definitely not going to be as charismatic as Nicola Sturgeon, as charming as Nicola Sturgeon. Ooh, I really hated that I just used those complimentary words. But it was true, objectively, at least for a while, that's what she was doing well. Not because of policy, but because she had good media skills and public speaking abilities. And that was it. We'll see what happens. But on this channel, we're going to keep you posted on this issue and everything else that happens. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to come back and uh, tell you guys about uh, one of the biggest uh, stories that has been happening. Uh, Nicola uh, Bully, uh, the mother whose uh, body has been found. And we're going to talk about the disgusting reaction from the mainstream media, especially Sky News and ITV, the way they treated their family members. Uh, so subscribe to the channel. I'm going to come back in half an hour. On my 2CNW are the media.